Hello, I'm Victoria Stilwell, dog behavior expert from It's Me or the Dog and founder of the Victoria Stilwell Academy for Dog Training and Behavior. Today, I'm going to be looking at some of the videos you've sent in of your dogs. First is a King Charles Cavalier with a concerning new habit. This behavior concerns me. I am glad that Jersey's had an MRI, as you said, which didn't find anything because that would be the first thing that I would say to you is that this dog needs to go to the vet ASAP. Cavalier King Charles can suffer from various conditions that can cause this kind of behavior, but we also see what we call fly biting. It's biting at imaginary flies quite a lot in this breed, and it can be because of a medical condition, but it can also be because that they just are more predisposed to have a compulsive type behavior. And this is what it looks like to me. This looks like an obsessive compulsive disorder. This seems like from what you've said that that Jersey now doesn't want to cuddle, um, his behavior's completely changed, that there is still more going on here. And I think you need to find a veterinary behaviorist that um, specializes in compulsion disorders that can get Jersey onto potentially s some pharmacological support because that's what I think this needs. Now, behaviorally working with Jersey is that do you see, is there a trigger? Does this happen more at night? Does this happen when Jersey's being held? I want you to keep a journal and I want you to write down every time you see this happening. And then you will get a better picture that you can show the veterinary behaviorist. But what worries me is what you say uh, that sort of it is impacting the rest of Jersey's life with you, that Jersey doesn't want to cuddle anymore, and that's not really interested in things anymore because obsessive compulsive disorders take over people's lives, but it also takes over dogs' lives. And so really it needs like a two-fold approach, both with behavioral therapy and with maybe potential um, support through medication. So good luck with this one. Keep me posted and let me know how it goes. Next is a dog whose love for treats makes training more difficult. I know you. Will you sit? Let's try later. Layla is gorgeous and I love that enthusiasm. I think sometimes dogs get so excited when they're being trained because there's treats and food. She's snoring. Sorry, the dog's snoring. You're gorgeous, but don't snore. And she obviously is really enjoying herself, but sometimes the actual anticipation of the food gets in the way of learning. When I teach dogs, I normally use something that the dog likes, and that can be food, that can be play, that can be toys, that can be praise. But if I see that actually the dog is so eager for it that they're not learning anything and they're just focusing on the anticipation of getting the treat, then I'm gonna use something else. I'm either going to decrease the value of the treat, so I'm going to use biscuit or just kind of boring kibble more than meat or cheese or chicken or whatever you use in training. Or I'm not gonna use food at all and I'm gonna use a toy instead. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use what I call life rewards. So for example, this is perfect way to teach a sit. What I'll do is that I will just go stand by the back door before I'm about to take my dog for a walk and I'll have the leash in my hand and I'll wait for my dog to sit. I won't ask my dog to sit. I won't lure my dog to sit with a treat or toy, I'll just wait. And then when my dog sits, good, the leash goes on, and then I can take my dog outside the door. That's called a life reward. If the dog sits, the lead goes on, and then we can go out for a walk. So you can try doing that. If you think the food is interfering with that learning, she's getting way too excited, then either use toys or use life rewards. But again, I love this energy. If you can just do those couple of things, maybe teaching her will be a little bit easier. Finally, here's a dog that has an unusual way of playing with her toys.
This is a really interesting behavior. I do see it a lot. It is quite common. This kind of sucking and dogs will do that on toys and on blankets. This is the equivalent to a pacifier, to a binky, whatever you call it. This actually relieves stress. And so you say that this happens at bedtime and other times when she's relaxed. I think this is her habit. This is her de-stressor and it makes her feel good. And if you're okay with it, and it's not damaging her at all, it's okay. The fact that she doesn't really wanna be pet while she's doing it, that's okay too. This is her time where she can relax herself, de-stress, and have her own time and her space. So I don't think there's actually anything you really need to do about this. If there's a time you don't want her to do it, well then just take her toy away and don't let her indulge in it. I think this is healthy because any way that a dog finds that is appropriate to relax and de-stress is good. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.